Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today where we are learning about soccer techniques. The first thing that we will be talking about is how to pass a soccer ball with your right foot. Afterwards we will be talking about how to dribble the ball with your right foot. And afterwards we will be talking about how to shoot a soccer ball with your right foot. Now that we have started we will first be learning about how to pass a soccer ball with your right foot. The first step is that you're going to have the ball at your foot where your left foot will also be on the side of the soccer ball where your right foot will be a couple inches away from the soccer ball. The next step is you will be striking your right foot towards the ball while your left foot, also known as the planter foot, is right next to the soccer ball on the left side. The third step is that you're going to place your soccer, uh, the right foot, in the air and it, where you can push the ball forward with power. Afterwards, you will be striking your right foot while your right foot will also be sideways so you can hit the ball right here where that's where the power comes from. According to howtopassasoccerball.com, passing a soccer ball is actually one of the most important things that a player needs to know of when they are going to play soccer. Passing a soccer ball has many positive things about it, like you can pass around other players and you can pass to anyone that you want where you can also score. Now that we have learned about how to pass a soccer ball with your right foot, we will be now learning how to dribble a soccer ball with your right foot. The first step that you guys are going to do is having the soccer ball at your feet. And you're going to have your left foot, also known as the pointer foot, on the left side of the ball, a couple inches away from the ball. Afterwards, you're going to be placing your right foot a couple inches away from the ball. The next step is that you are going to have your right foot in the air with the top of your right foot ready to be placed right in the middle, since that is where the power comes from. The third step is you're going to strike the ball with your top of the right foot, so then, again, the power. Now that we have been done talking about how to dribble the soccer ball with your right foot, we will now learning how to shoot a soccer ball with your right foot. The first step is ball at your foot. In the left foot, you are going to be a couple inches away from the soccer ball so that you can run up onto the soccer ball. You will also have your right foot away from the ball and you're going to strike the ball right in the middle and you're going to use your laces since that is how you get power when shooting the soccer ball. Next up is you're going to back up a couple steps so you can run onto the ball. The third step is you're going to run up on the ball and you're wanting to make sure that the left foot is on the left side of the ball right here and a couple inches away from the ball. The fourth step is that you're going to strike with your right foot in the air. Make sure that you use the laces while the left foot is on the left side of the ball so you get power. According to why is soccer Dot com. The most important part of soccer is knowing how to dribble a soccer ball, knowing how to shoot a soccer ball, and knowing how to pass. A good dribbler is quick on the ball, so then they can get quick around the opponents. The importance of soccer is so that you can play a competitive game while having fun. Today, over there are 50,000 teams around the world including rec teams and club teams. To recap, we have talked about how to pass a soccer ball with your right foot, how to dribble a soccer ball with your right foot, and lastly, how to shoot a soccer ball with your right foot. Thank you.